Hello Dons, my name is Donut Cat, and uh, welcome to what I like to call Duel for Death Day 1. I'm doing this for uh, Marcus Honest over at Unis Honest, and uh, I'm going to do a Duel Art. Now, I'm pretty okay at Duel Arts, I guess. I'm pretty, I think I'm good at them, at least. But, uh, we're supposed to be learning something. I'm learning patience, because I'm a really impatient person. So let's, uh, let's get started. So first, we're going to need a big sketchbook. We're not going to need the sketchbook exactly. We're going to need two pieces of paper out of it. This is what we need. We're going to start by taking those two pieces of paper, flipping them over, taping them together. Okay, nerds. Some simple tape will do. I'm gonna start out by. Okay, there it is. I found my tape. I'm gonna start out with tiny pieces and I'm gonna like tape it together. Right, we. Let's go. The design's all going to be based off of death and stuff. So in the middle, we're going to have a really detailed hourglass. Because that's sexy. If I get in trouble for saying sexy on this YouTube channel, I'm going to be depressed. Oh yeah, well I still have time and essence in my soul. Like the video. If you like this video, like it. I don't know, dude. If you don't like it, like leave a comment and yell at me for being stupid. Because I don't make any money on this platform. So I'm kind of dead inside. Anyways. Almost fully taped up here. Get this last little bit. And now we're going to start with the, uh, the detail out of our glass. We're going to need an eraser. And a crappy... Uh, Pencil. Pencil. That's the word. Pencil. Wow. So, we're going to do something close to the Unis Honest logo. It's not going to be exactly, though. So, what we're going to do is we're going to start out with the uh, hourglass, but with the skulls in it, but it's going to be a bit different. So, let's just, like, start out with the hourglass shape, I guess. Yeah. Oh shoot, you guys can't see that. Here we go. There we go. This is a uh, really crappy shape for an hourglass. But it's going to work for what we want. Oh my god, my lines aren't perfect at all. That's going to be the uh, top part. Uh, if I move this a bit forward, I'm going to do the bottom portion. There we go. Oh, God, that's garbage. Here, I'll erase that in a minute. So, we're going to want something a lot like this. Here, let me get it. Better outline. Oh my god, the shadow from my tripod is there. <sighs> Whatever, I'll deal with it. Yeah. We're gonna do the same thing at the top, so we're gonna do some erasing. First, let me erase this bottom line because that looks like subhuman trash. Okay, there we go. I think just for today's episode, we're gonna. Do only the hourglass because, yeah, it's supposed to be patient, so I have to drag this out over the month. I'm starting this on March 5th, 
2020. And I will end March 31st, 2020. Alright. Why is that so lopsided? Let me make a quick checky here. So I'm going to draw a line through here. There we go. That line's lopsided. Everything I draw is lopsided. I want this to come out good. I mean, I have a month. A month is going to be a while. And months go by pretty fast where I live for some reason. Here. Let me just... And then round off the corners. There we go. Does that look good? You guys are going to yell at me for that? Alright. This is our crappy bottom of our hourglass. Because it's due to... So yeah, let's finish this hourglass and that's going to be the end of the video. Okay, donuts, let's do this. I'm going to get rid of this part because it's trash.